Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to World of Contraptions. This is the world where we build contraptions. And if you saw the last episode, you know exactly what this game is all about. And if you didn't see the last episode, then um, my amazing description has informed you of exactly what this game is all about. So now we got through all the easy challenges and we are now at the uh, medium challenges and we have to build vehicles that can obviously complete these challenges using a build system that I have largely forgotten how to use since last week. But uh, this is the vehicle that I've built so far for all the other challenges and I was thinking it wasn't suited for this challenge right here, but I think it can do it if I just do it the right way. So let's reset. I think what I, gotta, what I gotta do is line up my left wheels with the left uh, beam and then my inner right wheels are aligned with this beam. So now, let's just gun it. Uh oh, oh boy, that was terrible. <laughs> I think we can do this. I, we just have to not be terrible at going straight. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. No. Yes! Okay, I was like, does it have to be touching the ground? Because uh, in case you forgot, this cube right here, the uh, companion block, uh, that has to be in the target zone for about three seconds in order to complete the challenge. Ooh. Pillar's Bridge. Are my wheels... I think there's different size wheels, but let's just see how these wheels handle this. I should be able to use the same dimensions. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. Okay, I'm kind of almost not doing it. Oh, this is it. This is how it ends. This is how it ends, right here. Just like that. All right, let's go back into build mode and uh, let's see what kind of options we have for wheels and stuff. I gotta remember how to build in this game. All right, you know what? We're just gonna build completely from scratch, I've decided. All right, so let's see here. We're gonna make this uh, relatively long. I think perhaps six wheels is going to be ideal for this. So it's gonna be a longer vehicle. Oh, and I should probably also make room for, you know, the cube and the engines as well. So we'll put that there. We'll put some engines here. All right, so a cool thing about this, you see that this engine is automatically being attached at the bottom. If I press V, I can go in and I can select uh, a different point for it to attach to just like that so now you can see it attaches on the side so that's a cool little aspect to this game all right so now uh we need to figure out how wide we need to make this so if we go there and there and then we add the steerable block just like this i think our wheels are going to be aligned all right, so now let's see what kind of wheels do we have. All right, cartwheel, small bike wheel, wagon wheel, bike wheel. Okay, I, wait, were we just using the bike wheel? Wheel of a truck, let's do wheel of a truck. How big is a wheel of a truck? Okay, not big. Not that big, actually. All right, so we'll put that one there and we'll put that one there. And then I'm actually gonna do the same in the back. We're gonna have four wheel steering and that is not how steering, oh, both of these are, the steering is just the wrong way completely. There we go. Now the steering is a little bit better. We attach those wheels and actually I need another engine, I think. So let's delete that. We'll put this engine right there. And then we're gonna have, this is what our next wheels are gonna attach to. This is a non-steering uh, wheel support. So we put this, oh, whoops, I forgot. We gotta have the wheels actually go out to the sides far enough. Oh, I forgot my back wheels are not out far enough. My bad. Apparently I'm terrible at uh, gauging the d proportions of my vehicle. All right, now my vehicle is proportional. So let's go into, how do we do this again? Transmission mode. So why do the front wheels, why do the front wheels not have is there a four wheel maximum? No, no, there can't be a four wheel maximum. All right, there we go. Somehow we just reapplying the wheels fixed it, whatever the problem was. All right, so this is gonna be continuous spin forward, backward, invert rotation. And this is just continuous spin forward and backward. So now we should have a six wheeled vehicle that can get over this. No problem at all. Okay, this, you can see that my vehicle is clearly structurally a little bit awkward. That front end tends to bend a little bit. So I'm gonna do an experiment here with something I haven't done in the main mode, but we have this, which is an extendable bar. 
So this is useful for like creating skeletons. So I'm actually going to link this to that and that to that and that should hopefully prevent them from flexing as much. So hopefully that's gonna work. All right, it's doing okay. It's just the steering, the steering itself is a little bit weak. Oh boy. All right, let's just go, go fast. Gotta go fast. Okay, okay, that didn't work very well, did it? Let's try this again. Just go fast. There it is. Go, 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 go. We're right there. How? How? Oh my goodness. I can't believe that just happened. Wow. All right, we did it. We completed the challenge. What's next? Oh. Long circuit. This could be kind of fun. All right, I think this vehicle should be perfectly capable. Oh, except for the fact that it's really wide. But if, as long as I don't completely mess up, I think we'll be okay. My vehicle likes to list to the right for some reason. I should have put a camera on this vehicle now that I'm thinking about it, because I have to keep moving my camera manually. All right. It seems to be pretty forgiving on the edges for whatever reason. Oh, oh, like that, which I am perfectly happy with. So as long as I don't do any major mess ups, kind of like this right here, as long as I don't do what's happening right now, we should be fine. <laughs> that sound is so devastating. All right, let's go back to build mode. Uh, I'm gonna save this. All right, and now we're gonna build ourselves a little bit of a race car. All right, guys, check it out. I built a mini little race car that I think actually looks pretty good, given that I had my first time experimenting with the other building pieces. So let's see if it actually works. All right, we got some steering. We can go forward. My Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's not make the same mistake as last time. I want to put a camera block on this thing. So all we got to do is put the camera block just like... Where is it facing? There we go. Just like that. And are there like properties of the camera block? V for activation. Camera type FPS, fixed third. I'm gonna go smooth third? What is smooth third? This is smooth third apparently. I don't know what it means, but it looks fine to me. Yeah, okay. Oh man, the steering is a little aggressive. Oh, what? What? <laughs> what just happened? All right, I'm curious then. Let's try fixed third, see what the difference is. Um, and also, I'm gonna add some... How do I add some structural stability to this? So we're just gonna do like a small attachment right here and then a small attachment right here. And we'll just do that on the other side too. And hopefully this will protect our cube a little bit more. All right, play. Now we should be much better off. Oh yeah, look at this. Ah, ah. Wh why is everything feels so weak suddenly? But you know what, maybe this is better. Maybe we only wanted three wheels. We seem to be doing actually much better with three wheels for some reason. Okay. Yeah, this is going great right now. Three wheels is the way to go. I don't know why people put four wheels on their vehicles. When has three wheels ever failed anybody? Whoa. Okay. See, this is fine. Look how straight I can go. <laughs> oh, oh. There was a little bit of a noise there. I hope nothing's broken. All right, and there you go. That course, I gotta admit, was actually more difficult than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> All right, what is next? Okay, bridge key, this one is called. So it looks like, it looks like we have to put that onto there. So, wow. This is the first time we're gonna actually have to build like some type of mechanism. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. 
Let me see if I can just modify this vehicle. So somewhere there's mechanisms. What is the telescopic block? Maybe the linear stage is what we're gonna need. All right, let's see here. Uh, this thing, I'm gonna do, I don't know, shift and control, linear. So let's see how this works. That is such a cool contraption. I like that, this could work. This could work, so now, uh, let's go into build mode. And what do we attach to it? All right, I'm gonna, we have some, we have a couple of weapons here. I'm gonna choose a long blade for whatever reason. Uh, we're gonna put a long blade down here. And what attachment points? Yes, I do have side attachment points. So I'm gonna attach it on the side like this. And we're gonna do, oh, it's too long. That is a long blade after all, isn't it? And now is the long blade short enough. There we go. Okay, you ready for this? This is gonna be interesting. So we move forward. And then we press shift. And then we move forward. Look at that. That worked amazing. This is so cool. That is really cool. I like these. I like these build mechanics a lot. All right. What's next? What? Lift the gate. How do we lift the gate? Oh, do we actually have to lift the gate? Okay. We can use the mechanism that we have, maybe. And we're going to modify this so that the sword now is going to attach itself on the end. And it's going to be sticking straight out like this, kind of like a forklift. Is that going to work? Let's try it out. So this goes down. We can't get under there, though. We have to lift this up, but then that's... Whoa. Yeah, this is... Oh, oh, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, so I've copied this, and what I'm gonna do with this is I'm actually going to paste it. One, oh, I can't. Wait, yes, I can. Oh, this isn't gonna work, is it? All right, we're gonna attach that there, and we attach this right here, and now we can take this thing on my clipboard, and we can attach that right there. And that right there. And now what I'm going to do is change the controls of these to GT. All right, so now... Oh boy, those weights are apparently very, very weighty. <laughs> All right, let's delete these weights. All right, so here's my plan. Here is my plan. We come in. And then we lift this up. We lift it, like, up. There we go. And now... We lift this up, um, and then how do we get that other one out of the way? <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Here we... All right, I got it. I, I know how to do this. I know how to do this now. All right, I'm reattaching the sword, but to a small decoupler. And actually, it'll be even easier, I think, if I just do this that way. All right, and then this decoupler, I'm going to just set to space, I guess. All right, so now I should be able to lift this up. Oh, the decoupler. The decoupler makes for a lot of weakness. I wasn't predicting that. Okay, so that ruins that plan. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. All right, I have a completely different idea now. All right, so we're probably not going to be able to drive like this, but let's find out. We just... Gotta make sure that these things don't get detached and they get underneath here. Oh, what? What is this? What is this? What is that? Oh my goodness. That's annoying. Oh, I forgot that a grabber is a thing. This could be perfect. All right, let's see if this will work. Let's just not break this. Okay. Now G is to grab. Ready and grab. All right. Good, good, good. And then what was it? T? Okay. And now ready to couple. No, I'm too. My camera block is going to get in the. Oh, it's not big enough. Hold on. Let's just charge at it. This will work. Yo. 
This is almost it. This is almost it. All we gotta do is get rid of unnecessary blocks here. All right, I came up with an idea. So I now I now have the pistons. Okay, this should this should still work. I now have the pistons actually attached at the middle with the decoupler right here because I could no longer attach where I was going to because this engine is in the way in order to get it out of the way of the height of the vehicle. So then I use those um those connector pieces to actually just connect the decoupler to this and it seems to work. I wasn't sure if that was actually going to work. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So there's that and then there's that and then there's that and now please tell me that we're oops 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 oh no now those decouplers are the issue if i could just break those wow i can't believe every little modification i make ends up being terrible okay so what i need to do then is the decoupling needs to happen oh here we go i got it I got it now. Decoupling happens right here. And then we just attach from here to here and from here to here. All right, this should work. Okay, lift up and then decouple. There it is. Oh, that took way more time than I expected it to. That was a difficult one. That was an actual difficult one. Okay, what are we looking at now? Jump the button? What if I just charge full speed? I'm just gonna charge full speed. All right, I'm just gonna decouple those and let's jump the button. That is kind of epic. That's actually kind of epic. Okay. Okay, okay, here it goes, here it goes. Into the target, into the target. <laughs> That's one way to do the challenge. Okay, ooh, this one's gonna be tough. Yeah, this one, this one's definitely gonna be tough. So this one, we need to try to create a jumping vehicle for the first time. I have never done this before. Um, I'm gonna use the pistons though, kind of like I had them because they seem to have a decent amount of strength. So hopefully we can jump with those. Let me just make sure that that is the best block to use. All right, and it looks like small piston is the only type of piston that we actually have. So we'll be using small pistons. I think I'm gonna couple two of them up and we're definitely gonna put them on space for activation. All right, so now a cool thing I can do is I can select this whole thing, copy it, and now it's on my clipboard. So when I get to the back of the vehicle, I can just paste it. I'm gonna use bicycle wheels for this. We're gonna get destroyed on landing, aren't we? For the sake of center of gravity, I'm going to attach this a little bit down towards the ground like this. So we're going to put this closer to the ground. And look at that. Perfect. And now we will put our regular wheel supports with some wheels. And I forgot about engines. Let's put our engines in here. All right. I think we're ready to try it. Okay. Why are only one set of pistons actually working? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is why. So there's two different connection points here. There's a connection point to the end of the piston and the connection point to the piston body itself. So that's why they were not working. So I actually have to disconnect these from being attached to the rest of the piston. So now, oh, there we go. Now we have a chance. Something broke. Something, I feel like something broke somewhere. Oh, well, let's just give it a try. Oh no. All right, well, let's try it again. You know what, first, let's knock these barrels off. Get them out of the way. All right, let's try this as best we can. <gasps> no, 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 no. I cannot believe that worked and that didn't explode. That was amazing. All right, what are we on? We're on medium, we're on number 25. So this, I think this one's gonna be not too hard, except the fact that I noticed, I don't think there's a bearing type of thing. Oh, we can use these. Oh, this is perfect. Oh wait, I just realized something. <gasps> this is a very, very thin course. Yeah, let's use this thing. Is this thing small enough to drive across? Okay, barely. What happens if I just push my way through?
Oh, there goes my vehicle. All right, at some point it gets a little bit too heavy. But here's, uh, I'm gonna try a new piece that I've never used before. So here, let's build out in the front a little bit. And now check out this piece. We got this thing. Where are our attachment points? Only, oh, here we go. So this is gonna be a little bit weird, but watch this. I should be able to take this from the center, attach it right there, attach this right there, and then I take this coupling thing, attach it like that, and now I can go ahead and disconnect this from here, and this should all be attached, and now this thing should move, in which I'm going to put a sword, just like that, and now what are the controls of this going to be? Um, let's just do shift and like that. All right, so now, yeah, look at that. Is that cool or what? Oh, except it gets stuck there. Okay, that's no problem. We just change this to the thin block like that, and then we can move these connections to the thin block. We go from top to top, and then we go from top to top, just like that. All right, now we should be good to go. All right. Okay. So check it out. We move forward. We do this. All right, I need more weight. I need a lot more weight. Hopefully this isn't going to make us like super heavy and un unusable. But it should give us the mass we need to resist. Come on. There we go. And then... There we go. Ugh. This is so cool. This is so awesome. I am very proud of this build. Oh, except for when that happens, then I am less proud. All right, come on. There we are. There we are. Oops. There we go. Ah, ah, oh no, 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 please don't, please don't, please don't fall. Okay, good, good, good. All right, you know what? I think I can just push my way through now. That was kind of risky, but we're in. We are in. That was a cool vehicle. I was very proud of that vehicle. Okay, and up next, bars in the way. So this is like a, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, these bars are loose bars. Okay, that changes things. That definitely changes things. All right, so I'm gonna pause it here. Let's take a look at what our progress is so far. We've completed medium one and medium two. So we have medium three left. And then, wow, there's a lot to this game. I did not realize there was so much to this game. So if you guys are enjoying this game, definitely hit the like button. Let me know down in the comments below that you'll want to see more. I'm actually, I'm enjoying it more and more now that I'm getting into the more complex contraptions and using the stuff that I have never used in other games. Like that sliding bar was super, super cool. All right, and if you missed the first episode with all of the easy challenges, then definitely go ahead and check that out. And if you want to see other awesome games on the channel, then check out this playlist on the end screen right here. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.